Heightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia, and this is Pastor and Sue, and this is Pastor Doug. Today is a really special day at church. It's called Pentecost. Pentecost is the day when we celebrate something that happened more than 2,000 years ago when Jesus' friends were all sitting together in a room and they were feeling really sad and confused because their leader, Jesus, wasn't with them anymore. And then something called the Holy Spirit, God's presence with them, fell on them. And it looked to them like fire, but fire that didn't hurt them or make them too hot. And from this moment, what we call the church started. The church is all of the people who want to follow Jesus. And for 2000 years, we've been trying to do that. Well, I wanted to tell you today about something that the church does. And that is that we figured out that we need to take care of each other. So let me think about, think about it this way. Let's say it was snack time and I have three sets of these yummy cheese and peanut butter crackers. And Pastor and Sue has three too. Well, Pastor Doug, did you remember your snack? I, I, I didn't know we were having snack time today. <sighs> Pastor Doug doesn't have any. Well, I mean, we each have three, but I think if he wanted a snack, he should have brought one. You know, if, if he thought it would be good to have a snack, he should have taken care of himself, you know? Maybe he just needs to work a little bit harder and find a way to get peanut butter crackers for himself. Well, we might wanna think that way, but that's not what the early Christians did. And it's not what we do either as people who are following Jesus. You know, if we each have three, how about we each give one to Doug, Pastor Doug? Here's one. Thank you. Well, now all of us still have two, and that's more than enough for a really yummy snack. Did you know that there's people here in our town, here in Wilmington, other kids and adults who don't have enough food to eat in a day? Just like this. And not just for one snack, like they forgot a snack at school, but people who go home after school and they don't have dinner. And when they wake up, they aren't sure if they're gonna have breakfast. Well, a lot of us are really lucky and we have way more food and more resources that we need. So one of the things that we do as Christians is we can remember to take care of the people who don't have as much as we do. On Pentecost today, we're doing that by bringing in donations for something called Mother Hubbard's Cupboard. It's like kind of a big grocery store, except everything that's there is free. It's for anybody who needs it. So maybe if you go grocery shopping with your parents sometimes, I want you to remember that as you're going and you're getting what your family needs for the week, there's also people who are really hungry. And so maybe you could remember to say, hey mom or hey dad, why don't we get an extra can of green beans or an extra box of macaroni and cheese and we can bring it to church and then they'll give it to the people at Mother Hubbard's Cupboard and somebody else will have enough to eat. As Christians, we always take care of each other. And if we have more than we need, we get to give away some of it so that everyone has what they need. I'm really glad to be a part of the church and to get to help take care of people. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for making me part of the church. Help me to be a helper. I love you too. In Jesus' name, amen.